How's it going, Reef Builders? Jake Adams here, and uh, I know it's been a while since you've heard from me, but um, you know, I went at it pretty hard this winter, bringing you some nice original videos, some really creative content, and uh, I just need to take a little breather and uh, wait until I got inspired again to uh, get back in my groove of making videos. And uh, I'm here to tell you that I'm back in it, and uh, tonight I really want to share with you a really cool story. Now, uh, mandarins, uh, Synchiropus splendidus, is uh, one of the most iconic uh, aquarium fish, reef fish, just a really colorful, splendid um, specimen of a marine aquarium uh, inhabitant. And in recent years, a few companies have uh, tried their hand at uh, captive breeding this fish. But uh, very recently, uh, Biota Palau has been producing mandarins in uh, large quantities. Uh, these captive bred fish are uh, raised on uh, eating uh, frozen food and maybe to some degree pellets. But the other night, uh, I was just blown away when I saw my mandarins eating flake food. Now, this is just absolutely unbelievable, like a crazy, crazy milestone in uh, captive breeding. For me, this is the reason that captive breeding is uh, really, really important in, in making fish, producing fish that uh, are very different from their wild counterparts. Uh, these fish that have grown in aquariums and are just totally so acclimated and so conditioned to aquarium life that um, they don't think twice about hitting a piece of flake food when normally uh, everything we know about them is all about eating some uh, usually live food. Uh, so I'm very excited about my mandarins eating flake food. They've been doing really good since I've had them for probably about eight months now, maybe nine months. And uh, you know, I know they were eating frozen food before, maybe catching a little bit of live coke pods here and there in uh, a really well-established reef aquarium. But uh, seeing, seeing them hit flake food and eating it and having it like hanging out of their mouth was just like a really, really cool experience. Because uh, for me, like I said, I think this is a milestone in captive breeding. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn over the reef tank and show you some footage of my captive bred mandarins um, actually eating some flake food. So. so obviously this is quite a lot of flake food, but I really wanted to make sure that I had enough targets for the mandarin to hit um, so that I could demonstrate how well it was eating flake food. But as you can see, all the fish were attracted to the flake food and uh, just about everybody came out, including one very special little guy. So this is a mandarin popping out or beginning to out of one of the caves, but uh, really wanted to show you my line dart fish. This is a really, really cool fish that I only really enjoyed in pictures before, but uh, recently I obtained a very healthy pair and uh, they're just really, really beautiful fish with this blue body with yellow bars. Uh, flashy fins and uh, just a really really cool personality so I'm a really big fan of dart fishes and uh, I never thought that these guys would be so easy to keep again these guys really hit that flake food and um, I'm sure you're gonna get this question and people are gonna ask what kind of flake food am I feeding and I really have a gumbo all the different flake foods so here he is the fish of the hour this is one of my captive bred mandarins from Biota Palau, and you can see he hits the flake food and is eating it um, like it's nothing unfamiliar to him. So he's not uh, merely curious about the flake food, but he will basically um, eat it and spit it out, eat it and spit it out, and basically you can see that this guy is just really beefy, really not lacking for any kind of body weight. And um, yeah, it's just been a super huge pleasure to own these uh, captive bred mandarins because I mean, if you had told me 10 years ago that in the future I would have perfect mandarins and they would be eating flake food among everything else, I just really wouldn't have believed it. So um, this is a really, really popular fish. So having these available captive bred and eating everything available to them uh, from pellets to flakes to frozen food is really a huge milestone. So thank you guys for watching uh, If you like this video if you know anybody who likes mandarins definitely share this video with them Tell them about the captive bred mandarins from Biota Palau, and I'll see you guys on the next one